day and go. All right guys, so today is your education day. What we're gonna be talking about today is the correlation between strength and injury prevention. Let's talk about that a little bit. Now think about it, the stronger something is, the less resistant it is to break, right? So if you look at different materials, okay? So different materials, let's talk about steel versus wood. Steel is gonna be a lot harder to break than wood and so forth. And I know that's a material thing, right? They're like, oh, well, duh, Curtis, that makes sense. It's steel versus wood. Totally hear you. Now, let me break this down. If you take your body and make it as strong and resilient as possible, it's gonna be able to prevent injuries and things we do to it. The hard part about our body, even though we're made of materials like bones, muscle, tendons, ligaments, you know, all the different types of stuff and the types of bones are different. Like our teeth bone, completely different than our arm bone, right? If you chip a tooth, that sucker doesn't grow back. Even though we know it's bone, but if I break an arm, which I cracked this humerus when I was younger, uh, a lot younger, anyways, this heals, right? We know that. So the regenerative processes are different in different pieces of our body. Now, our muscles can help be the shock absorbers of our system. So it also moves our body. So like right now, I'm moving my arm. What moved it? My muscles. The, the, my brain or nervous system tell my muscles to move. Now, the better you get at being able to control and move your body, the more resilient you're gonna be. But on top of that, in this topic, the stronger you are, the more stress you're gonna be able to withstand and handle on a daily basis, life and so forth. So if I talk about somebody that's sitting at a desk all day, right? If I'm sitting at a desk all day, a lot of stuff will be typing, I'm leaning back, I'm getting a lot of motion through this part of my body, my low back, my neck, this kind of stuff, because when I sit down, my legs are not being used as much. They may help me walk in the chair back and forth, which I'm doing a lot in my home office right now with editing videos and so forth. But along with that too, if you can allow your body to be stronger and handle more stress, endurance wise, whatever it is, it's gonna help you not have aches and pains, it's also gonna prevent injury down the road. Example, you get in a car accident, right? You get in a car accident, if your body's more resilient, you can bounce back faster. There's been stories, and I won't talk about a guy locally that I've worked with, but there's been stories that the more resilient your body is in a car crash, they come out of the car crash better, right? And now people talk about, oh, well, they were tensed up versus not tensed up. Totally get that. But if your muscles are strong, they're gonna help withstand force being put onto your system, right? And I know there's freak accidents and so forth. But actually, I'm gonna talk about the story. This guy I work with, right, it's crazy. He, um, this dude is, I'm telling you, very, very, very strong. I mean, like, I feel like I'm pretty strong. This dude trumps me in strength. I mean, he'll deadlift, squat, it's crazy, right? He got in a car accident, got sideswiped, car rolled, seatbelt broke, he got ejected from the car, right? Did he break some bones? Yes, but his recovery and coming back from that, he had some hand lacerations, stuff like that, but he came back really well. He's still training now, he's getting his strength, strength's coming back to where it was pre-accident, which is mind blowing to me, mind blowing. But because of that, his quality of life is still high and his recovery time's been much faster. Doctors have been mind blown of like, how is this guy recovered from these severe injuries, hand, broken neck, right? If worried about him being paralyzed, all this kind of stuff. He has bounced back and healed from this and it's because of, and they're correlating it to the strength that he had prior to the accident. So with that being said, the stronger you are, the more resilient you're gonna be to injuries and preventing them. So make sure, now I can talk about how well you move, that makes a difference too. But in this video, I wanna talk about the stronger you get, the more resilient you get, which means you're gonna be able to prevent injuries in daily life, playing sports, whatever it may be, all right? Lifting boxes, right, if you're moving. So hopefully that makes sense. Keep getting stronger. I encourage you to keep getting after this program and we're gonna keep this thing going even once we're back open so you have opportunity to keep working out from home. All right guys, so hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it helps to inform you and encourage you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.